you should begin by opening the Excel spreadsheet interest rate options and making sure you are looking at the first worksheet which is labeled 3% cap. On this first worksheet, we review the basic pricing properties of caplets on six-month LIBOR with a strike of 3%, an implied volatility of 30%, and a notional amount of 100 million. A cap LIT is an option on a future LIBOR reset that has one single settlement, while a cap is effectively a combination of caplets that cover in aggregate several future LIBOR resets and therefore include several future settlements. Column E in this worksheet lists the order of the periods covered. Column F indicates the start date in years of the period in question. Column G provides the six-month LIBOR spot and forward for that period. And column K contains the premium for a caplet struck at 3% for that period. For example, the 429,248 premium shown in cell K12 is the price the buyer would pay for a caplet on six-month LIBOR with a notional of $100 million relating to the six-month period starting exactly three years from today. The pricing is based on the cap pricing model published originally by Fisher Black and adapted from the famous Black-Scholes model used for ordinary FX and equity options. The premium, of course, is paid up front and the buyer will receive at maturity either nothing if LIBOR resets at or below 3% at the beginning of that period or otherwise an amount equal to the difference between LIBOR and 3% multiplied by the notional of $100 million and divided by 2 to reflect the semi-annual nature of the instrument. Note that this payment would be made at the end of the period in question. For example, if in three years time the six-month LIBOR resets at 5%, the cap owner would receive at the end of this six-month period an amount equal to the 2% difference between the current LIBOR and the strike times the notional of 100 million and divided by 2 given the semi-annual tenor. This comes to 1 million dollars as illustrated in cell C12. The exact amount would be a little different in real life since the day count convention for LIBOR is actual 360, but here we are rounding this to one half. The more accurate calculation for those who are interested 
is shown in cell C16 in which we have assumed that the period in question has exactly 181 days. Note that the yield curve here is linearly upward sloping with six month LIBOR spot at 2%, the six month forward starting six month LIBOR at 2.25%, the one year forward starting six month LIBOR at 2.5%, and so on, up to a five year forward starting six month LIBOR of 4.5%. Of course, no yield curve is ever quite so smooth, but for the sake of simplicity, we will work on this basis. Cell K6 is blank since for the first period, which commences immediately, the relevant LIBOR is the spot LIBOR of 2%, which is below the strike of 3%, so that this option has already expired out of the money and is worthless. The pattern of prices as you go down column K should not be surprising. The further down we go, the more expensive each caplet becomes for two separate reasons. Not only is the time to expiration longer the further down we go, and this usually makes a European option more expensive, but also given the steepness of the yield curve we have assumed, the caplets are gradually going from being out of the money to being at the money to being in the money so that the later caplets have a higher probability of getting exercised as compared to the earlier ones. To be more precise, the caplets for periods 1, 2, 3, and 4 are all out of the money since the LIBOR level for those four periods is below the strike of 3%. The caplet for period 5 is at the money since the 3% LIBOR forward for that period matches exactly the strike. And all remaining caplets are in the money since the LIBOR forwards for those periods are above the strike of 3%. It now becomes easy to price caps from these caplets. Take for example the case of a company that has just signed up for a three-year bullet loan of $100 million on which it is paying six-month LIBOR flat. Suppose the company wishes to ensure that its interest costs do not exceed for any period 3% annually. The company would need to purchase all five of the caplets appearing in cells K7 to K11. In aggregate, these would cost $791,650, a number you can see at the bottom of the spreadsheet. 
you should now click the pause button and try pricing a five-year cap whose strike for the first two years is 3% then increases to 4% in years 3, 4, and 5. This is known as a step-up cap. When you are ready to continue, click the play button again and open in the spreadsheet the worksheet entitled five-year step-up cap. This exercise should take you no more than two minutes. Remember first that you should now be on the worksheet entitled five-year step-up cap. To price the five-year step-up cap we described above, we begin by adding together the price of the first four caplets in cells H11, 12, 13, and 14, which include the first caplet that is worthless as previously explained. The total price for these caplets comes to 222,369, a number we have pasted as a value in cell I4. For years 3, 4, and 5, remember first to change the strike from 3% to 4%. The aggregate price of the six caplets you need for those years 3, 4, and 5, which are found in cells H15 to H20, comes to an additional $1,700,000. $55,490, a number we have pasted as a value in cell I5. In aggregate, therefore, the five-year cap you were asked to price would cost $1,977,890. I6. Before proceeding to our discussion of digital caps, you should return to the worksheet labeled 3% cap and change the strike and volatility a few times in order to confirm that you agree with the pricing patterns of these caplets. For example, if we reduce the strike to 2%, the caplets become more expensive since they are now closer to the money or deeper in the money. Increasing the strike to 5% makes them cheaper since they are further away from the money. Increasing volatility to 40% makes all caplets more expensive, while reducing it to 20% makes them all cheaper. You should now click on the worksheet labeled Cap Spread 